We can hear you. Hello? Hola, we can hear you. They're frozen on my end. Well, now you're there. Don't you look pretty today? I didn't look pretty last week. Yeah. And I like that. I like that shirt or dress you have on. It's a dress. I like it. Very pretty. Thank you. How have you been? Oh, today has been a struggle. A uh, struggle? Uh, why? Uh, Me too. Um, I've been. What's wrong? What happened? I just think I did too much yesterday in this hot ass heat. It's hot out here. How long were you up last night? I was on Nix's show and fell asleep. I was like not now. So I don't know what time it was, but after I got off the show, I um I just put on like a YouTube video and went to sleep. I was yawning and I couldn't stop yawning. But I took, you know how I do the craft shows for my community? The goal is to get adults out and having fun crafting and things like that. It was kind of hot. It was very hot yesterday. It was 94 here and like 98 or 99 down in Arizona. So our pool is being fixed. We can't just get in the pool. Something's wrong with the bottom. So I was like, let's go down to the beach. We have two beaches locally within an hour. And um, instead of doing a craft, let's get out because it's hot, you know. People was dropping their kids off and things like that with me instead of going with us. So you're babysitting all those kids? That's not how it was supposed to be, though, to be honest, you know. Yeah, it was a lot. I wouldn't mind if they were angels, you know. But, you know, I try to watch myself and I got to choose my word. I, I, I may slip a curse word in every once in a while with you or with Rebecca, but I am usually very mindful of my language. You know, I'm a little freer around uh, Rochelle and Tima also, <laughs> but I usually don't don't really lose my <clears throat> my poise. I guess it's a good way to say it. But these kids was making me want to lose my poise, and I had to choose my words. I wanted to just scream, you know, and um, I think I'm just feeling the effects of being out in the heat, being frustrated, you know, you gotta, you gotta discipline your kids and gotta speak to them in a way that when they're around other adults, they make you proud, you know, but I mean, if you're a parent that don't care, I guess you don't care how the kid acts around other adults. So, um, yeah, it was hard. So you can't just haul off and lay hands on someone's child. And you can't just say what you want around kids because they're impressionable, you know? And they go back and repeat half of what you said the correct way. And you're like, no, -uh, I didn't say that. That's not what I said. And then you argue with a kid, that doesn't look good either. <laughs> so it was a challenging day and um, Today, I think my body is trying to rest from it. Uh, slept. All right. Well, that let's way. say hi to everybody first. Well, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> you ask, so I answer. <laughs> hello, Mudnut. Hello, Billy. Hello, Susan. Hello, Sue. Oh. Tammy. Amy. Jen, no. dip in time. Don't use that voice with me. I'm going to practice that, Rhonda. Robin. Mm -hmm. 
I think I got everybody. No, you forgot me. Oh, you forgot. Hi, Clem. Oh, I didn't even know he was here. here. <laughs> you weren't on here, though. On the list? No, not on the list. See, dear, I'm not on the list. <laughs> 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 you know, it's what you guys end up doing this week. So. Hello, Clem. What? Hi, everybody. What did you, what you did we guys do? We went and picked up Alyssa. We went and picked up Alyssa in Niagara. We left at four o'clock in the morning. We got there at seven, almost seven o'clock, and then I called her, woke her up. <laughs> She didn't expect like, it. She's like, oh, and I'm like, oh, we're outside the door waiting for you. She's like, what? And I'm like, well, you told me you had to be there before 11. So we were home by 11.30, right? Around 11.30. Mm, 10 to 12. 10 to 12, he says. Okay. That's good timing. So we went and got her, came back. Um, Wednesday and Thursday... Oh, I went on your live. Didn't do much. Today, I've been sick all day with my stomach issues. But that's what all I've really done. Done and painted. That's it. I know, I know how you can get rid of that stomach issue. How? It's called a round kick. Round kick. Yeah. We're going to get you in a position to where when you... You could relieve yourself. I never heard of a round kick for well, I know a round kick is like from Roadhouse where Patrick Swayze would like whoop butt. Yeah, um, how is that gonna help my stomach? It helped with mine when I didn't you read my challenge question last week? No. You guys see I don't watch I don't watch those videos. You don't, Lizzie? No. Why? I can't, I can't play, so why am I going to watch them? To understand what the week's question is. Oh, well, I didn't watch. Is this week a new week? Tomorrow's a new week. Tomorrow? It's the last week. Don't tell me, oh, I'm going to watch it now. The last week. Do you, you didn't watch any of the videos okay. for our... Love Listen. Attention. Listen, did you? You hear this? You hear this, Clem? You see what I'm dealing with? Yeah, she should have watched them. All by myself in this. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen, Linda. Down. Listen, Linda. All by myself. <laughs> did you read the title of today's live? Um, it didn't. Yeah, <laughs> see, you didn't even read the title of the live. It should say what it always says: me and you. Splash, splash, no. bring bash. No, that's not what it says this week. Maybe that's why there's only 10 people in here. <laughs> what did you <laughs> stop? All right, I'm going to pull it up. Oh, uh, Dipper just came to say hi from. Hi, Dipper. You know, it's hard that we are just now realizing this year that Dipper is a she. And not a he. Oh, I thought different. So, oh. so like oh, on no. my adventures, on my time off when we went to Niagara Falls, I don't know if it's going to show up because I did it as a background up here. So I don't know if this is going to work. Now we're now we're going around in circles. I did it as a background here, but when I was, when we went to Niagara on the way back, me and Alyssa ran into something and I'm like, oh my God, Alyssa, we got to take a picture of this because Tia has always wanted to see this. So, oh my we, goodness, what? I think I know, but go ahead. Can't wait. What do you always say? Melinda, don't get me in trouble. <laughs> what do you always say? You count dead deer. Um, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. Oh, I'm you think you take a picture you, of a dead deer? Or I'm always asking you to, if you, if you've seen a moose 
or me yes. or yes. Uh, um, yeah i'm always asking so, about those two things oh my god we ran into one a move yes you yes. got a picture yeah, for me i yeah i took a picture uh, i oh, mean let's take a oh picture oh my gosh they did it as a background so i don't know if this is gonna work <laughs> shoot it didn't work we gotta take us out of it for Did you see him now? Yeah, he looks so sad. But but it, he's got his Canadian hat on. You know, I'm always asking about a real moose, but I'll take the the Mountie, <laughs> the mascot Mountie. <laughs> it kind of went really big on here. I shouldn't have showed you the email. I'll send you a picture on your on your phone. Okay, so you can see it better. No dead anything. So Lizzie you don't is like always hunting the dead deer along the road. Like we're trying to not pay it any attention. And she sees everything. Like, look, there's another one. Look, there's another. I'm like, oh my gosh, no way. So I'm always asking to see moose. Like, I want to see. You That's move. a better picture. So you can this look at it. It's definitely going. To, it's not at the top of my book. I want to just, you know. Excuse me. That's funny. You see more what of a shirt. What uh, did Clem say when he saw the moose? Did he get a picture with it? No. <laughs> so this is what happens. So we had a stop at Woodstock. It was the last stop before we get to Strathroy. And me and Melissa are like, oh, we have to go mm -hmm. to the washroom. So at this rest stop in uh, Woodstock, this moose is always there. And I know he's there because I've seen him hundreds of times, right, for tourists and stuff. So I said to Melissa, I got to take a picture in front of this thing for Tia. And she's like, okay, so she's taking my picture. And then some guy walks by and says, Oh, do you want me to take a picture of both of you <laughs> by the moose? And Alyssa's like, no, it's okay. Poor Alyssa. <laughs> She's like, why does Auntie have to be so weird? <laughs> so then, yeah, and then, no, there, there's where Clem's $6.50 freaking Red Bull was from. $6. Six dollars and fifty cents for a Red oh. Bull. Can you believe that? Nothing wrong with that. Let them live. <laughs> Let them live. I wish I didn't have to work all day because then I'd be like as as juvial as Lizzie is. <laughs> she is a little juvial. So. <laughs> She's on vacay. You only have a couple of days. Susan said, Susan said she dressed up Clem like a moose. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's so funny. That's not Clem. So, yeah, like, there is no moose in southwestern Ontario. But I know. You keep telling me. But it's that still seen like moose. He just looks sad. His eyes look sad. No, he's he's a happy moose. He stands there all day. He had attention, I guess. You didn't hold him. You didn't hold him hot. Get over here. I need this picture. No, and then I'm like, oh. well, she took some first pictures. I'm like, oh my gosh, my face looks too fat. So I made her take another one when we came out of the washroom. <laughs> <laughs> that is something I would do. Like, no, I don't like that one. Ten minutes later, we'd still be there just trying to get one picture. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bring me a moose to the retreat, Rhonda. <clears throat> Has anybody ever seen a moose? I got to go all the way to Alaska. I've seen a moose, and uh, like this part of Ontario has no moose, but if you go up north, there's moose. And I tell you, they are the biggest creature I've ever seen. They are bigger than a horse. 
So AK Rose sent me a picture about three or four years ago. She woke up and one, I guess, is the town moose, just like how uh, Tammy's describing. Just walked right past her window. His butt was higher than the tops of like cars and stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's how big they are. And that's yeah, why she took the picture. If you if you hit it with their car, like good luck to you. Oh man, that's huge. And we went up north camping, and my friend Jenny was in the car, and I went somewhere. I think I was going to the store with her, and we're going down this dirt road. And I'm like, Jen, there's moose up here. Like, slow down. And sure enough, just before we got to the bridge, there was one standing right by the bridge. And I was like, I was like in awe because that was the first moose I ever seen. Yeah, that sounds like. Um, it was a female know. one, so it didn't have the horns. But I tell you, she Is was. That a different? Yeah, there's a difference. The females don't have the horns. The males are, have the horns. Wow, that's neat to know. Mm hmm. If you ever get to Colorado, they have some beautiful animals there. The big buckhorn um, elk with the with the big giant um, antlers coming out their head. Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, Susan says she's seen a few moose up north. She's more more up than me. Like it won't take her long to go Our up and. How far away is she? Susan's about maybe four hours away from me or more. How much is Barry from here? He got it. Yeah, about four. Hi, Robert. How are you? Robert probably has moose up in, I don't you know. have moose near you, I don't Robert. know if you have moose on Victoria, Victoria Island, do they? I don't know. Have you ever seen one in person, Robert? They're called antlers, not horns. Antlers, Lizzie, not horns. Did I say horns? I meant antlers. You did say they don't, the women don't have horns. No, only Tia has horns. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. They don't work, though. My horns don't work. My brother lives in Barrie, Ontario. Do he do he ever get pictures of moose? And uh, somebody also, do you mean deer? Nope. We talking about the big giant moose, like on the cartoon moose bullwinkle, a big, a big thing. Deer, however, were a nuisance. They would come in my yard and eat my plants. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Dip in time. We and have rams. Oh, we have um I don't What's know rams? Rams. What's a ram? ram. They look like a uh, goat, but they you know, they buck with their head and their horn or antler or whatever it's called. It, oh, I think I think they have those up like dip in time way, I think. We have moose. We've had moose walk down the street with police escorts. What? Why do they get a police escort? Oh, never mind. I guess the safety of the people. Thanks, Amy. I had an extended we family have and for a moose. And food to my parents because they couldn't go. Oh. Oh. They are white. They hide in the mountains. Yes, that's what we have. We have ram. They do hide in the mountains, but they have signs like as you're driving through, so you'll know if you're in an area where you know they're known to be. So, safety of the moose. Oh, what safety of the moose? Don't want nobody getting mad and going off on them, huh? We have tons of deer here in Maryland. I can tell you, Michigan has a ton of deer. Michigan has a serious problem, dude. Like, I live in Ontario, which is close to Michigan, and I don't see that on our highways. 
On our highways, the only thing you majorly see is raccoons. <laughs> Dead on the road. I was a golden ram in high school marching band. Oh, I was in the marching band. I was a uh, majorette. It was hard because I was also a cheerleader. It was hard. I don't know. When we went to the, when I was going to the retreat and I was driving in Michigan, all I thought about was what the heck is with all these deer dead on the road? Don't they have people that clean them up? Lizzie was counting the deer, guys. She was like, they're going another one. She could spot them off on the side of the road, hidden by the grass. It blew my mind away. I've never seen somebody deer. Went by our house two years ago. Jay Rubs in the house. Jay Rubs here. Hi, sis. You know what I forgot to do? You keep on. What'd you forget? I, I used some new uh, makeup. Look at my eyes. Can you see the difference? Oh, I went all out. <sighs> I got a new princess. You should make up. Yeah, I put um, this dark blue on the outside. Then it's like a green. And then there was some like unicorn at the top. And then it all blended. It just all looked green on camera. And then I sprayed, I got this um, unicorn spray. I went to the beauty expo without Alyssa because you didn't bring her down here to be with me. And you woke her up extremely early. Nope, this is for you, Sue. So I um, I canceled my date for tonight. Um, he's asking to- You had a date? Uh, uh huh. Supposed to to reschedule. I just, I'm so exhausted with dating. Anyway, I decided to take all of your advice and not go out with anyone until we've done some sort of Zoom or something. So we hadn't zoomed. I wasn't interested in going. <laughs> uh, no, no. You hadn't zoomed. No, not with this guy that I was going out with. And I was like, oh, you know what? Let's just do a Zoom or something first. Um, I told him about yesterday and I just didn't feel like going anywhere, like doing anything. But I mean, I'm really exhausted with the the dates as well. The guy didn't bring his walker suit. He just needed a walker. He had one. He was just trying to to be impressive and um you should have showed up with the walker i'm in michigan yes you are amy so um i don't know i just was like exhausted i'm really exhausted i i think it could be the heat you're probably gonna you know how my forehead burbles up when i get too much heat so I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Do a few Zoom dates before real dates. I think that I'm taking, huh? Go ahead. All of your advice. Lizzie, Lizzie has been saying that though. I just hadn't been doing it. A walker would make me turn around. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. right, Robert. No, I didn't had go with the rocker What'd you say, honey? I said, Sue so wouldn't want to date someone with a rocker? I think she would walk away too. As good a health as she is, she do all her walking. Sue gets in at least 20,000 steps a day. She gets out don't there. You? I don't blame her. <laughs> the guy with the walker misrepresented himself to Tia. He was a catfish. I, I think, honey bunny, I think you were on your trip, so I didn't want to bother you. But the guy 
that was on his profile is at least 30 years younger. I want to know about this Walker. Did you talk about him? Yeah. I'm behind in replays. Yeah, I talked about him. I talked about him last week on Lizzie's. I think I was on Rebecca's show and we talked about him last week, last Sunday. It just was so bad. Send a video of mama and baby moose to your message. Oh my God. Now this is a part of Canada that I don't live in. <laughs> Look at. Did you show it? Show it. Where's my messenger? I can't. I don't know. You can see it. Look at it walking by the car. Oh my gosh. This thing is huge. Yeah. And I think that one was a baby. Look at that. That's a mom. She's not standing up straight though. She's bent down, but still right. look at her. She's higher than the car. Yeah. That's huge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's good. She, she kind of looks a little rough, that moose. I'm not going to lie. The moose I saw was a little, much more perkier. She probably just gave birth to that thing. Oh, I'm so exhausted. Yep, that probably is true. <laughs> so you got um, two days left on your vacation, right? What is, what's the plan? Um, today I wasn't feeling well at all. So recuperating, nothing. We have nothing planned. Let's just stay at home, relax. Try to finish this darn painting for this collab. I thought maybe I still have a lot left to go. I'm not going to lie. The what, happened to your, like me? what happened to your hair? You let your extensions out. Yeah, I, I took the extensions out. You're so funny. I washed my hair. I think I did a blow dryer and flat I think uh, that's that's a wig, isn't it? You got a wig on? Lizzie says this is a wig. <laughs> She's like, how how does your hair see? This is how you see when you pull and it goes all the way down. That's how, and then it comes back. I can't back. believe how curly it goes. And how long? Look at so how long. curly that is. So when um when it's straight, Lizzie says, "You got an extension?" <laughs> <laughs> so because it shrinks up, she's like, "How does? Why is it so? Why is it so short? It's shrunk." <laughs> so just so you know, the more that it shrinks, the more elasticity, the healthier it is. So. You should want to see my hair shrunken because that means it's healthy. If it doesn't shrink, ooh, it's time to get a haircut and things. It means you're getting old? Yeah, it means I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm almost 30. Can't believe that. A big two nine. Don't snap yourself when you let go of the curl. Right? I try not to. It's really other people when they say, can I touch? And I'm like, yeah. And they'll go, boing, you know. I love your curl pattern. Thank you. Appreciate that. So, as you guys can see, this is how I wear my hair for about six months of the year when it's hot. Because I wash my hair almost every day since I'm sweating and it's hot and things. And then in the winter, it's cold. And so I don't want my pores to open. And so I'm not washing my hair every day. I'm usually washing it a couple of times a month and I'm using a lot of dry shampoo. So that's the difference. I have to wash my hair every other day. Yeah. Where it gets, it feels greasy. 
Yeah, my hair starts off dry. I have to use dry shampoos and I have to add oils. I think that's probably the biggest difference in our textures and our hair types is that yours turns oily. Mine starts off oily, but then it dries, gets really dry. And so I have to add oils. So where's, where's Tammy? She said that that show that I was watching. Um, Don't bring that up. Apples never fall or whatever. She said that she knows the ending. Now, I just got a new episode last week. And it kind of tells you kind of like the video part comes out where the guy's showing the video on the on the computer. Is that the last one? Because I'm like confused now when the ending is going to be. Sorry, I just had to. How many something. people are watching the show? The apple falls, never falls too this far. Is, it's How many dry shampoo? It's amazing. I've had it before. I'm not. We've had it here. I'm pretty sure Alyssa's bought it a few times. I know what it's like. The dry shampoo. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's amazing. It refreshes. Finish the book. So Rhonda did finish the book. She was talking about that earlier. Kind of thought of the ending and wow. For the book though, right? Is it the is book. the show going close to the book? Is it running? I don't book? know because I never read the book. You should start a reading call, a club. Book club. Oh my God, don't start with that. Isn't there one already? I don't know. I've been in a couple. We had one. Um, me oh, and, Amy's um, watched it too, and she loved it. Well, I don't know. Yeah, we don't get Peacock here in Canada. I want to know what the last episode was. Like, do they find it? Like, the last one I got is the the police got the email. Rhonda was that you the last one? one? What? What? Rhonda gave you the network last week. Remember the network that it's on in Canada? Yeah. Yeah, if we're behind or something. We're behind you Americans. Oh. I didn't know that. Yeah. I know. Oh, Dippin' Time hasn't watched it yet. No, she's reading well, the book. She can catch up, can catch up to for as far as where I am because she's she's in Canada. So listen, Rhonda, you and Melinda are trying to get me in trouble. Okay, Tammy, but is that episode the last one where he sends a cop the email? I just want to know if there's another episode next week. I love this show, man. We're actually, maybe a place tonight on TV. I don't know. See? Uh, but Rhonda says she plans to binge watch it this week. So then she can give us a comparison of the book versus the series, okay? And if it sounds like it's exciting for Melinda and Rhonda and Lizzie, then- I'm telling you, Tia, watch it. I know. You'll like it. Oh, love that show. So help oh. me talk. I went up on that one too. Show. That's so my favorite, favorite show. I love it. I'm caught up with that one too. I am. Have you tried watching the new show, Elspeth? Yes, I love that one too. I'm caught up with that one too. I'm caught up on Elspeth. But that little quirky woman, she got me like checking. I don't know she what day. She was on a different from. show. She was a lawyer on a different show, but I can't remember what show was it. Was it The Good Fight? Or was it the good wife? Or was it that other court, the other lawyer one with suits? What one was she on? I'm so confused. Know. She was on one of those shows as a lawyer. And she was as kooky as she is on this one, on that one. For real? She I can't so remember what cute. show it was. I mean, for I, real, she was on a different. The last episode is a lady talking. She said, "There's twelve or thirteen well, they know. episodes." 
Okay, well then, no, I'm not done yet. That just Wait. sucks that American watch the whole thing and I can't. There are seven episodes. Here's the Canadians, I tell you. I just had to get that out. <laughs> you are starting out today. Same thing with, same thing with uh, the hand that the hands made tail. I don't watch Our that. Canadians were always behind the Americans on that show, too. Used to oh. drive me bonkers. Rhonda is agreeing with you. I, I guess I'm going to apologize on behalf of our broadcast network that our American shows air here before they do in Canada. Sorry. Not all of them. Okay. Just some. She says, Lizzie, at the end of everything, it's a lady sitting and narrating. Okay, then no. I haven't gotten there yet. Here we go. Lou, Sue says, I don't watch TV. I don't watch live TV. I only watch like after, you know, the episodes have aired and things like that. So I don't know what day shows normally air and you know i prefer to binge watch to be honest i like to watch two or three episodes at a time i think that that was a good thing and the worst thing that ever happened like ever since binge watching came out i cannot stand waiting the following week and then this time of the year like always around spring breaks vacations the season change you know they call it sweet something happens in february where they take a hiatus then when they come back it's like all this action and all this drama because they're getting ready to set up their you know the end of the season and See, so, i don't i don't know if fire country had a new episode in america this week but we didn't have one you behind I, was, I was really i was really sad yeah, you were sad after. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go to Amy's house and binge watch my TV shows. Yeah, it was right there. You know, take the 40 minute drive, have lunch, watch a couple episodes, eat dinner, and then go back, go home. You know, <laughs> if I lived in Canada, I'd come and visit you a couple times. You know, Amy, we'd have some good lunches and watch our shows. Amy, till it's on Prime. Uh, Hands Me Tales on Prime now, too. I started watching yeah, it. I can't watch it no more because I don't have... Oh, okay. It's on Prime in Canada Prime anyway. See? Have you ever watched that show, Tia? What? No, I don't watch that. That used to be my favorite show of all time. Mm -mm. I know a oh, lot of... Oh, when I was in training, um, I'll never forget this. Our trainer, she just didn't care. She let us do whatever. There was so many people sitting in training, just doing whatever. I was studying for my license. I was being a good girl, and they were watching. It was like the first season of Handmaid's Tale, and um, they were sitting up in training, watching it. And I couldn't believe it. Like, it's so good. It was like, girl, did you just see that talking all the way on the other side of the room? Sweeps are in November, February, and May for TV. Yeah, so those are the times where you guys will notice that they they run in reruns um, and things. So I hate I hate sweeps because they they're off. You know, I, they'll run these big giant you know episodes and stuff. Then they're gone. I don't know why what they're doing. Then they'll come back, you know, they might do a couple for Christmas, a couple new ones in January. And they're, you know, something's gone in February, you know, for a few weeks. And they'll come back, you know, March, you know, a few episodes March, a few in April. They get more time off. I don't understand it, you know, but it's supposed to have 24 episodes, especially for one hour dramas. Should have 24 to make up the season. Lately, I've been noticing they're doing like 22, 20, you know, 
it is what it is. Like my daughter got me into watching it, then my son stopped his subscription to Hulu. Oh, oh. Robin, hi. How are you this evening? Lizzie has my. Address. I'm telling you, I think Prime has it now, so yeah. you can watch it. I don't know about American Prime, but Canadian Prime does. Everything's so different. Our Netflix is different than your guys' Netflix. Our Prime is probably different than your guys' Prime. Speaking of Netflix. We don't have Hulu, we don't have Hulu here. Oh, I didn't know that. Speaking of yeah. Netflix, they it's have like what? part two of Rebel Moon. Clem, did no. you watch that movie? What movie? It's called Rebel Moon. It was on Netflix back in, um, I, don't, I think, November or December. And they told us that the second part wasn't coming out until April. And I was mad. But it's out. So it's good. It's good. It's sci-fi. What's it about? Without trying to spoil it, it's this. Um, it, it's in the future, but yet they had to start over and rebuild. So their village looks antiquated. Anyway, they have to give vegetables and food to this. Um, I guess to the army, and then the army, you know, leaves them alone. They're there to collect somebody that gives the food has been rationing the food off and now they owe the army. So the army captain comes and they're indebted and they have so many days to get more than they're supposed to normally give because he had been rationing off. They ended up, you know, killing the guy, which was crazy. Long story short, before the army captain comes back because they know it's going to be a war, he left people down there to watch him, and they the this lady she's good at fighting. They killed up all the um, they killed up all the soldiers. So when they come back, they know it's gonna be a battle, and so they're trying to prepare for when the captain comes back to collect this surplus that they should have had. But it's good. It's really good. Um, I've given away enough to where you can get the gist. But it's star studded also. It's a lot of stars in there. And I have Prime, don't understand like those shows you all say to watch. They want me to pay for them. Um like what shows? Uh Jen says oh, they yeah. that happens. You have to they'll say, Oh, uh Oh, I didn't know if that you they it, like here it's like Paramount. Or if you have Super Channel, or if uh, now it's Stack TV here in Canada, they they put on things on Prime that you have to pay extra money for so you can watch them. Well, that makes sense then. What's up with anybody uh, understand what's going on with the judge shows? So I know that they had canceled a lot of the judge shows, Judge Judy, Judge Million, Judge Mathis. Then they all got picked up by um, some court TV, I think, or Justice TV or something. And now they're not airing on Justice TV. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. I see it sometimes on TV. Those are reruns. TV. Yeah, on actual TV, those are their reruns. Maybe. They had new episodes. Anyway, I like the judge shows. I love me some Judge Judy. There's this one uh, show. It was like with three of them. Um, I love that show. What was it called? I don't remember, but it was three judges and I liked it. And then they had another one that came out with three judges called the tribunal. That one is amazing. It's judge Judy's grandson. <laughs> He'd be losing his stack. 
So you've been on just you gonna have you gonna have me going back 26 years trying to find your episode. Did you win? Usually Which that's one all. is he? Which one is that one? Judge the, old, the old one? The old guy? Is he old? Yeah, I guess he old. I mean, there was two. There was Judge Joe Brown and Judge Mathis. I think Mathis is younger than Joe Brown, but Oh my god, eye. too bad we couldn't get it on like Prime or oh, something. Oh, we could oh, go back that's and right. He filmed he filmed in um in Michigan. I thought he filmed in Chicago, but yeah, that's right. Um oh she was in the audience. He said she was in the audience, but still that's awesome. Anyone else here ever been on TV? Maybe she went to dispute something. That would have been funny. That would have been, oh, I just dropped me. I just dropped my. Uh... Anyone? Anyone? Ever been on TV? Besides? Hmm? We have two colors up for grab today a green and a gold. Green and gold. Green and gold, kind of like, I don't know, it's a weird one. Right? Yeah, those two today up for grabs. Are we giving away a thingy too or no? What's the thingy? How many thingies are you giving away? What thingies? I don't know. How many of those are you giving away? I've only given away one. Do we want to give away another one? No, you gave one away already, right? Mm-hmm. Will we want to wait for next week to give away one of those? It is up to you. But you guys, what she is talking about is this fantabulous tablet holder that was made for us by our friend, Clem of CNL Creations. And if you guys want, I'm gonna show you. I was looking for my phone, it's right here in front of me. You can also hold your phone. As Clem says, he likes to hold his pen. Cause you know, he diamond paints also. And just so you guys can see, that is the collab pen. The collab pen. You guys have been winning them. Oh, did you? Do you know how I'm holding it now? Like this. Yeah, you showed us that. I don't know why. You're this like this now. Like, way. So hold them. Right. No, before I showed you like this. Now, now I'm holding it like weird. You know, and, and show how you hold. It. Show how you hold your big one. She got a real fat one. Show how you hold that one. Well, this one, I hold it because it has like the flat back because it's from Diamond Pen Pal. I don't know, I hold it like this. See that one, that's normal. But the other one, the blue one that you had, you held that the same way the other day. You were holding it weird like this. What's this one I was holding? Yeah. No, look. I have the ring on this hand because look at what happened to my hand. See that? Oh, yeah, I do. And it hurts with my ring on there. Are you so okay? I had to move it over here. Yeah, you know what it is? It's because I never take it off and I wash dishes and I I wash my hands and then the water gets trapped there and then makes those sores on my hand. Stupid. Uh, Girl, it's ring. painful. Why do you think I got my ring over here? Because it hurts. It's painful. Um, all right. So, <laughs> it's not opening soon. Another my printer is dead again. So these are the two colors that we're going for tonight. And I'm going to put in the thing 
what you have to put down. So you Susan why are you said it's so hilarious. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at Susan. She's so bad. Oh my god, she's <laughs> showing us all in the you hold your pen, your big one. Listen, if you've seen this pen, okay. I was <laughs> chatting with Janae and her sister, the people that own uh, Captured by Radiance on the weekend. We, I always go in. We always have like a chat, like a group chat together. And her sister makes pens. You should see this pen she made. It puts all pens to shame. It is like this thick. I swear to God, like you probably couldn't put your hand around it. That's how it looks funny. like. It looks like you know what. You're so bad. <laughs> it does, man. <laughs> if you've seen it, it's hilarious. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. antique romance. I created this pen as an homage. <laughs> See how she ignores me. See how you ignore me and change this topic. You're bad. Um, huh? I didn't ignore this you. Scene. What am I supposed to say to that? You're so bad. Listen. Listen, guys. She doesn't like talking about that. See how bashful she gets when you talk about anything like that or toys or anything like that. Look at how shy she gets. You're bad. <laughs> I'm not bad. This is why she doesn't want to go for a date because then she's scared the toys are going to come out. Woohoo! <laughs> it's flushing. Yeah, because we talk uh, about this behind the scenes. This is not talk for your family. Look <laughs> at you. You are so bad. Oh, oh my gosh. She yes, is Robin because she knows though, because we talk behind the scenes and she knows I don't think about that stuff. You're so bad. Anyways, now to the giveaway. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so bad. Here we go. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Time slow to get me. Yes, Listen, I'm here. slow. not going to be 11 minutes till you get your system up, right? Hi, Moosey. How are you, Moosey? I want to go on here. <laughs> okay, that is the magic word for today. <laughs> Moosey. I thought about the Canadian Moose, but that's a little bit too long. So that is the word for today's tray. <laughs> Moose. Clem, Clem's in the car and I'm like, oh, I took this picture for Tia. He's like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he didn't I seem enthused it. about it as much as I was enthused about it. That's why I said, what did Clem say? <laughs> he probably thought I was uh. not. Alyssa, Alyssa probably was like, oh my God, you're doing the craziest stuff on auntie right now. <laughs> <laughs> All he says is I love you. That's your answer. Uh, that's his, that's a good answer, Clem. Stick with it. <laughs> that's a real good answer. <laughs> Simon, I mean, uh, Timmy says they went on by the comments. Wait, did I miss something? Rhonda, are you being back? But they were, pen is her thing. P E N is her thing. Uh -oh. What happened? Are we? Did I, I believe something? that is a meant something. Pen. I think that's short for something. 
you must explain. You must explain. Oh, <laughs> different types of lessons and practice very right? close. <laughs> this is what? Practice. Mm -mm. Well, we're talking about that stuff. Oh. Pens that look like. That's pen. what I thought. I thought that Rhonda hen was for something. <laughs> um. Yep. It didn't. It didn't bypass me. What? I it was, it. Also, it was a big moose on the screen. What do you do with that? Oh, no, he didn't see the comment. <laughs> moose is the, is the word win. So, who wins? Whoever I pick. We'll pick someone. Well, I'm letting them take a chance to put their name down. Oh, I think they have. Okay, yes. are we ready? <laughs> Tammy caught it right away, Rhonda. <laughs> ready? Set. Oh. It froze. Oh, here it goes. What is going on? It's freezing. <laughs> Show that. Yes. Jen! Ah, Jen! Congratulations! Jen, if you haven't filled out my Google form, go over and fill it out. Susan will put it in the chat. So which one do you want? I could throw in, I don't know where it is. Where you want that one? Which one? Anyways, this is the last two colors. Which one would you like? Which one would you like? She said you get the big one. The pen, I mean. Yeah. The green one. She wants the green one. Okay. The green one goes to Jen M. You got to say your name. Well, fill out the Google form. Yeah, I have her um, address. You I'll have send it this too? out uh, the end of the week when I start to send all the rest of the, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send them all out, all four together, so you guys have to wait. Jen, That's what I've been doing. I tried the um, last collab I did, the first two weeks, and then the second two weeks, and poor Susan Mascarenas never got hers, so um, she'll get her. I'm going to wait, wait and give them all out at the same time. The, the uh, tracking still says, you know, that it's lost, <laughs> so... Somebody open that package and kept it. That's all. I understand. It's a pretty color. So we'll send her out one and I'll give her a little trinket. Um, again, if you are participating from outside of, what do they call this? The Northern Hemisphere, outside of Canada, the US and Mexico, um, we do have plans to award our winners uh, gift cards. So if you are outside of those three countries and you win, that means we want you to still participate and have fun. And you win, you will get a gift card. So, yay! Where does Jam um, live? Uh, just, she just won something last collab. I think she in the U.S. or Canada. I can't remember. Jen, and where are you at? Jen, where are you at? I filled out the form. I'll say it like to you. Where you at? You could, you could just, did I say it like that? I'm yeah. teaching you. You're learning. Where you at? I'm learning how to talk American. Michigan. Oh, you? that's cool. There you go. She could drive it over to you. I'm out <laughs> of this world. <laughs> Michigan's a big state. Michigan is a big state. But you can go and count deer. Oh my gosh, your favorite pastime. That's what I'm saying. We just we just gave you darn right. <laughs> I told J Rob when he come down I wanna I want to come down and we all go for lunch or we'll something. Come visit. Me and my sister. Yeah. We'll come we'll visit go. lunch. Now keep in mind, honey bunny, she made you some surprises from Canada. What what did I say to you when you said that? But when you said you want to come, 
and visit and hang out with us. What did I say? I don't remember. I have short term memory loss. You are so bad. I said, whatever, as long as it don't mess with my time with my niece, Pooh, and my nephew. I ain't seen him in a year, oh, remember? You should come to Canada and you can come have a petite. I want to see Alyssa also. She's growing up so much, so fast. She can't go over but, the border, though. She I know. Pass I know. We got to work on that. Anyway, all of these little babies are growing up. I sent you a nephew. I don't get my uh, messages for a while. No. No, it just says it's been some new upgrade or something. It says waiting for this message. It might take a while. I sent uh, Honey Bunny some pictures one night. She was like, whatever you were trying to send me, they didn't come through. And when I be trying to send stuff to you, you don't believe me. But ask her, she in the in the chat. You're just saying I'm that. Just I know. You're just I, saying I'm that just, because you don't want to feel bad that you ignore me. Do I ignore you? I don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's texting me. I don't think he believes me. It's it's still Is it over? No. No, we we're still here. I was looking uh, hi, Clem. <laughs> I was like, is it over? I'm getting all excited. Is it over? And wait. It can't wait until, you know, we have a really fun after show. <laughs> Clem comes on the camera. How come he don't come on the camera with us? Is that what he says during is sex? Oh. <laughs> I'm waiting on your answer for that. Do we tell you that, Lizzie? Is that, you that when you say during sex? Is it what? Is that what you say when we're having sex? Is it over yet? Ah. Um, there he is. So after the show, when, when the live is over, Clint comes on camera and we all cut up. We have a ball. That's why he's asking that, because he's ready to get to the fun. <laughs> so he just wants to know when he can say something without being on camera. <laughs> he's relaxing. We are all blushing now. <laughs> so what do you have on? Is that your favorite? Is that your favorite team? Yes. It is? You got a hat on. You you covering up the haircut, the new fresh haircut. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's messy. It's messy, but it's the fresh haircut they just got. It's kind of they thinned it out when I got my haircut on top. So it, like, it, what happens is it sticks up straight. Spike. A lot of it. Not nothing wrong with the spike look. Yeah. I did that once. I'll never do it again. I cut all my hair off and I had just the top part like spiked up. Oh my gosh. It was bad. I looked like the black Sinead O'Connor and it was bad. I hated it. And I remember I was in college and I was working part time at uh, Kmart. And I was like, I'm not coming to work until my hair grow back. <laughs> Oh, see that. Oh. See that. Um, and they were like, um, well, let's wear a hat. We want you to come to work. 
So I started wearing hats. Yeah. To work? You work? Mm -hmm. they, from they, home. We, we'll let you wear a hat. They did. They let me wear a hat because I was like, I'm not coming back to work until my hair grows back. I'll just, I'll just borrow five grand from my dad and live off of that. But I'm not coming back to work until my hair. And they was like, we need you to come to work. We'll let you wear a hat. And uh, and they were they let me wear a hat. I wore a hat for six months. Where's this? Like, it was at Kmart in um in Ohio. Oh. Columbus, Ohio. That's how you met on your job now. I'm like, you wear a hat. You you work from home. Who cares what your hair looks like? Well, yeah, now, but that was back when I had to actually get my butt up and leave the house. That's harsh. How many people do you guys know in the service industry um, that are allowed to just wear hats? Like you see people wearing hats at in Walmart, the the staff, you know, you don't see them wearing them at the mall. My daughter shaved her head in college. Yeah, you know, I did it twice in my life. I don't know if I'll do it again. If you guys see my picture on Facebook, you'll see me in one of the pictures. My hair is really, really short. That was the second time shaved it all off and it was starting to grow back so i took a picture. it was a cute stage i took a picture of it that was 2016 or 2017 and uh yeah i don't think i'll be cutting my hair off i'm getting a little too old to to disappoint myself <laughs> it's just massage my neck. Well, okay. yeah. that that was a good one lizzie you were like oh yeah right here this spot Right here, if you could please. Did you hear what she said, Clem? She said, could you just touch my neck right <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't say no. Fast. Oh, that's good. That's good. That good. <laughs> Do you have a machine? It's never it's never long enough, even if it's long enough. It's never long enough. <laughs> she always wants it a little bit. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Did he at least hit the notch? He just said for a few seconds. I'm like, oh, you're good. You need a machine. They got no, this no, machine. No. Just boop, 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 boop. Huh? I have. I, he I, bought I, me I, one I, of those. I have one. Yeah. Not, not a sex hug. toy. It's a real soldier. They're sliding away. No. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh, I, I know. No, I'm, no, I'm never long enough. <laughs> he did say that never long enough. Um, <laughs> I, I meant the kind, not the massager you were talking about. <laughs> I meant the kind that it's a, it like punches, you know, right into the spot. Oh boy, am I getting into a deeper? <laughs> Amy's laughing at me. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I have one yeah. of those. It works. Okay. Too. Sure. I love about this one that has like claws in it. It's the weirdest thing. Tia's language machine. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm not talking about sex. <laughs> enough talking about enough. sex. Well, uh, yeah. yes, enough. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. Time to go. It's time to go. That I in. said. Could be flipped. <laughs> uh, hi, sis. How are you doing this evening? Everybody said hello to Crafting and Crime Daily. We know and love her as Rebecca Schilling. And she is our mystery artist that we will be interviewing this Wednesday. Yay! Mm -hmm. So make sure. Huh? I forgot. I didn't hear you. I forgot. Yeah, um, I know. We just talked about this last week, and we talked about to, it on your show and mine. I forgot I have to come Wednesday. You didn't forget. <laughs> you, you didn't forget. She hates coming on my show. She just likes it when we're on her show. Y'all know what this means. It's time to cut up. Rebecca, we've all been bad tonight. Oh my gosh, Rebecca. It's it's bad. It was really bad. You should have come earlier to help save me. 
we were all bad. No, she would have been she would have been there right with us talking. I about think it. so. I think she would have been right and she would have been comfortable. <laughs> oh. And, but it's been a great, you know, day. We talked a lot about our favorite, well, their favorite show that I haven't started watching yet. And I got to get on. But I believe you're watching it. Where, it is. I swear, if you don't watch it by Wednesday. See, Tammy, you, least you and Melinda, y'all got me in trouble. So. I'm going to definitely. <laughs> Princess Bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we know you have four new releases, but we want you to talk about it. And obviously, you know, we're going to interview, um, you know, we're going to have a little fun and things. So I was being a little bad, you know, my word choices. <laughs> they could, they had double entendres, double meaning. And um, yeah, lots of blushing tonight. Definitely a lot of blushing. <laughs> anyway. Lizzie and the way she hold her big pen. <laughs> uh, the appropriate way to hold the pen is like this. You're going to make sure your two fingers. There's no appropriate way to hold your pen. You hold your pen the way the, you hold uh, the pen. We don't hold, we don't stroke the pen, okay? <laughs> I hold my pen like this. I was holding it like this. I'm going to start holding it like this. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm just teasing. Um, I scared off Clem. He did disappear on us. <laughs> oh, stroke the pen. You seen how she was like, first she was down here, and then she was like up here. And, that's what I was, um, yeah, look at, and then look how she's just massaging it. It's a pen, Lizzie. Duh. Okay, it's time to go now. <laughs> Till next week. <laughs> to hold her pen is what's the key word. Yeah, <laughs> Susan said, oh, it's been a lot of fun. Congratulations again, Jen M. You will be getting the tray as well as the tablet holder. Yay! Look at Melinda. She coming out now when it's time to go. If I could watch, I would, but I can't. So you all have to tell me about it. Um, she's talking about, um, is she watching the show? I think she's watching the show and doesn't have, I don't know, but we'll, it's the one that Apple never falls. Till next week, embarrassment. <laughs> That's right. Thank you guys. We have fun. Can't wait to see you guys Wednesday. Make sure you guys stay tuned to Palm Pal Pins and Friends. The two videos go up as close to midnight as possible or first thing in the morning. Um, so the wheel winner and then the week uh, three winner plus the challenge uh, question for this five. And I probably won't week. watch okay. the video, so I won't know the challenge question. You see how she does me? She don't even watch the videos. You're so mean. Where's the love? At least I'm honest. All right, so I'm going now. Bye, everyone. Say bye to you. Night, guys. Love you. Say bye. bye. Say bye. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care, everyone. Bye.